Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own silicone molds. Like this one here, that's for $5.99. So what we're gonna do is make our own silicone mold. So say for instance, if you needed something for a party or whatever it is, and you can't find it, you can just make your own into a fondant mold. So the two products that I'm going to be using are the Easy Amazing Super Putty or Molds or something like that. I can insert a picture for you guys so you can see. And it's two um, separate containers to keep them from not hardening. Um, you're going to take some wax paper and I'm just using scissors because I'm bougie. I could have just easily tore it but I was being super lazy. And you can have your silicone mat whichever one you prefer. I personally like to use the wax paper. You're gonna use gloves so that you don't get your fingerprints all over your silicone mold and your cookie cutters and your shaper or um, fondant smoother and your product of whatever it is that you would like to use. So I have a small earring and I have a large earring. Now these here, you'll take these to use for different fondant molds but the only thing about them are um, they're really tiny, so it's kind of hard to get the details out of it. So I'm taking equal parts of the silicone, so half of yellow and half of the white, and I'm going to start mixing those two together. Now you want to work fast with this because it goes according to your body temperature, and if your hands are hot and warm, it will firm up extremely fast. So now that I have everything um, mixed together and it's all one color, I'm going to roll it into a ball and I'm going to flatten it with the fondant um, shaper. And I'm just going to place, um, I'm trying to get it as flat as I can because you want as much definition and you still want your silicone mold to be flexible. So I'm going to take my earring mold and I'm going to press that in to the fondant. Well, to the fondant, look at me talking. I'm going to press that into the Amazing Putty. Now these earrings are very popular on my Etsy site. Um, I like to show you guys the video of how I make my own, um, just because it's just, Something that someone asked me to do, and I just was like, okay, pro no problem, fine. So you want to take the silicone mold, and you just want to push it against your product. That way, once it hardens, and you take it out of, um, you take your airing out of the, uh, the silicone mold, it pretty much has all the grooves and all the definition that you are looking for. So I can place the small one in the middle. Um, and get an extra airing mold so it'll be two in one but because I didn't do the silicone mold that big I just made it a good size for um, the large earring um, it was really no point to do it so now I'm going to show you a smaller mold which is the Minnie Mouse one that I was telling you about and it comes out pretty good it's just the fact that because it's a button um, you don't really get to see all of the details. And this is what it looks like up close. So now that my silicone mold is hard, I'm just going to pop the earring out and it comes out fairly easy. And there's your mold. So now you can apply chocolate, you can apply fondant, you can even put water in there and make an ice cube out of it, okay? But most of most of these are being used for fondant for a 90s theme, vintage theme. And this is what it looks like with Lester Dust. This is the fondant. And you can find this product here on my Etsy site. And this is the large one. And these are very popular on my Etsy site. I've sold about 35 of them so far. The large one is $10 and the small one is $8. 